Over a week ago, three boys, two 16-year-olds, one 19-year-old, were kidnapped as they were on their way from Bible study school trying to get home for Shabbat. The Israeli government is doing everything it can to try to find the boys and bring them home safely. I came here today to visit the Frankel family. One of the boys, Naftali, is a dual citizen. He's both American and Israeli. A block away from their house are signs lining the street, the Shavu Banim Ligvulam. And the boys, the children, will return to their homes, will return to this land. And that's our prayer. Behind me, what you'll see is a yeshiva that was set up. A bunch of boys that are learning Torah in the honor that the kidnapped boys should come home. So I just arrived at their home. I'm giving them this booklet from the fellowship, a booklet of your prayers, where we're telling them that there are Christians around the world that stand with them, that love them, that are praying for their sons and are standing in unity with their suffering and the Jewish people. I just left the house of Naftali Frankel I met with his father, Avi, who is a sweet, pure, faithful man. All he's asking for is that we pray for his son's release, that we continue to pray, we continue to act politically in whatever way we can through good deeds to help bring his son home. We can't forget these three boys. The fellowship is here to keep it in the top of everyone's mind, to pray, to do good deeds, and anything you can to bring these boys home. And there's no words to explain the appreciation that the Frankel family and all of the families have for everything the fellowship and everyone else is doing on behalf of their sons. This is real. It's a real family that could be anybody here in Israel. Just a few minutes away from my home, the community, they're American, they're English speakers, it could be any one of us. And we have to stand united to say, this cannot happen, this cannot be, and we demand their immediate release. Continue with me, my friends, in prayers and good deeds. Let us not forget that these boys need to come home, and it's in our hands to do everything we can to make that possible.